Welcome to our second in a series of top three rewind location videos we have produced where we look back at our island series in a quick and easy short format video so it's hopefully easy for you to view. We reflect on areas that we have travelled in our nine week trip of Ireland and try to pick out our top three locations and that has not been easy. Hopefully these may be a consideration for an upcoming trip you may have and if not maybe just a few minutes for you simply to sit back enjoy a collage of memories that Ireland continuously delivered to us. The locations have been chosen maybe for a simple view or a walk or a place of interest that has simply invoked an emotion and a memory for us. So this video focuses on the top three locations for us on the Mizzen Peninsula which is the most southwest jut of coastline that points out across the Atlantic. And again, it's another tough ask, as we have so many memories as we drove on this first peninsula. And we suddenly felt we saw the wild part of the Atlantic Way. And again, this is in no particular order. Our number one must-visit locations is Ballydehob. And this once again typical Irish colourful village is at the start of the peninsula, if you are travelling from the south of the wild Atlantic Way. And it brightened our spirits on a cloudless sunny Sunday morning. The village itself had a few quaint shops and several cafes and restaurants to hide away in and simply get lost in conversation. The village has a really artistic feel, with wall art being added to an already colourful village. And the walk down the Bournemouth River takes you under the old railway bridge and it meanders along the water's edge past several sculptures. And the view across the harbour is one to just stop and soak up. Our number two location is the iconic Mizzen Head itself. And it literally blew us away in more ways than one. Least of all staying a couple of nights in 17 miles per hour gusts of wind. And it only added to the drama that befitted the raw nature of the location. And ideally try and pick a clear day to make the most of the views that this place has to offer. And it's a little energetic if you want to get the most out of the various viewing locations, which drops low down towards the sea and high up two immense rocky views. And the bridge views allow you to see the rugged coastland in its natural state. The old signalman's working quarters at the end of the headlands take you back to a harsher time, when the point was manned and it gives you a sense of what it was like to live there. And there's also an interesting small museum at the reception that gives you a great overview of all things Mizzen, and along with a cafe should you need to recuperate from your walk. And finally, our third location is Dunlow Fort Castle, or as it's commonly known as the Three Castles Walk. The car park on entry has a small donation, as like many sites in Ireland, it sits on private ground. Now in rain or sun, this walk is an absolute must, and we actually saw it as its harshest with the full force of the Atlantic hitting us. Although for us, it made the effort even more atmospheric and worthwhile. And there is actually only one castle by the way, as the Three Castles reference relates to the three towers of the castle that stands at a fragile state. Well there you go, that's our top three Mizzen Peninsula locations, but it has to be said there are many others that just miss the cut. So do you agree with our top three? Or are there other gems we should have added or indeed missed completely that's in your top three? Drop them in the comments as we may look at them when we return to Ireland. 